Elite Facts presents. Is it possible to stop an asteroid from hitting Earth? Six. Damage an asteroid can do. Not that we really need to go into details on this, but the facts behind it are interesting. So put it simply, we'd be screwed. It doesn't take a genius to know this. For example, in about 10 years' time, the asteroid 1997XF11 is due to come extremely close to Earth, but it said it will miss our little planet. Lucky, right? Well, let's just say theoretically it did come into contact with Earth. What you would have is a mile-wide asteroid striking the planet's surface at about 30,000 miles per hour. An asteroid that big, traveling at that speed, has the energy roughly equal to a 1 million megaton bomb. It's very likely that an asteroid like that would wipe out most of the life on this planet. Again, not that we needed to tell you this, but it's still nice to have something to refer to. But how would we stop one if one was to come in contact with Earth? Here are a few ways theorized by scientists. 5. Kinetic energy One of the easier methods next to launching a nuke is using good old-fashioned kinetic force. Basically, you deflect the incoming object by slamming another object into it. Basically, you're taking the Futurama approach to this. As ridiculously simple as it sounds, this is something that has been put into practice before, as scientists have done this way back in 2005. The Deep Impact mission altered the trajectory of a comet by hitting it with an 816-pound probe flying at 5 miles per second. 4. Solar Sails Electromagnetic energy is something that's produced by the sun which applies pressure to pretty much any object within our solar system. Astronomers have long thought this stream of energy could be a potential source of propulsion for rockets. In layman's terms, it's thought to be as simple as just strapping some solar sails to a spacecraft and letting it catch a few rays and the ingenious vessel will slowly, gradually pick up speed as incoming photons transfer their momentum to the sail. But this practice is mainly for rockets and spacecrafts. Could this work on something like comets and asteroids? Well, according to many scientists and researchers, it's definitely a possibility. Now, is this something that could be done today? Definitely not. It would take decades to even perfect such a practice. But it is said to be possible that we could one day fasten some solar sails on an asteroid, do a little tacking, and steer the rock away from Earth. Unfortunately, we don't have Bruce Willis, who's experienced enough to pull off something like this, as this is where the problem lies. It would be an incredible challenge to land someone on a comet in order to convert an asteroid into a cosmic sailboat. But could it be possible in the future? With how technology is advancing at this rate, it's definitely a possibility. 3. Tractor Pull Sorry, Dr. Evil fans, we're not talking about a tractor beam. Now, every little speck of matter in the universe, even something as small as a pebble, has gravity to it. You can't feel a pebble's gravity because its mass is so small, but trust us when we say that it's still there, tugging away on anything that comes close. The close part is important because gravity is also related to the distance separating two objects. The closer they are, the greater the gravitational attraction. When we say every object in the solar system, we mean every object. Spacecrafts zooming through the solar system are certainly no exception as they obey the same principles, exerting a gravitational pull directly proportional to their mass and inversely proportional to the distance between it and another object. Now, okay, let's compare a regular space shuttle to, say, an asteroid that has the same mass as that of Mount Everest. Size and weight between the two couldn't be any further apart, but its gravity can still make things happen. In fact, if you place an unmanned probe in a close orbit around an asteroid, it will pull ever so slightly on the rock. Over a period of 15 years or more, this almost infinitesimal tug could deflect the asteroid's orbit just enough to protect Earth from a nasty blow. This is commonly referred to by astronomers as a gravitational tractor, and many have gone on record to say that this could be a viable solution, just as long as they know about a potential collision years in advance and not on relatively short notice. 2. Repel Rocks Back Into Space 
As crazy as it sounds, astronomers have an idea to do just that. They call their machine a mass driver, but it works the same way. It scoops up rocks from the surface of an asteroid and hurls them out into space. We know, crazy, but with each throw, the machine applies a force to the rock. But the rock, thanks to Newton's action-reaction law, applies a force back to the machine and to the asteroid. Throw a few hundred thousand rocks and you'll eventually shift the asteroid's orbit. Now, as you can probably expect, this concept has been criticized by many different outlets. These criticisms include things like, how would we be able to keep such a machine powered? Or how do you get the mass driver on the asteroid? Not to mention maintenance, as you can probably imagine that it would be quite a task to fix if the machine was to ever break down. These are all legitimate gripes which right now would pose a major problem if such a thing was invented. But we think in a few decades, much like with solar sails, we imagine we'll be able to produce these mass drivers no problem while also being able to give them a good maintenance when needed. Again, technology is advancing at such a phenomenal rate that it's possible that we'll see something like mass drivers sooner rather than later. 1. D-STAR Directed Energy System for Targeting of Asteroids and Exploration has the most potential to destroy asteroids, comets, and other dangerous near-Earth space bodies that pose a high risk of impacting our planet. Unfortunately, as far as we're aware, as it could potentially exist behind closed doors, this is only a concept and not something that was put into production. Again, not as far as we're aware, but for all we know, this could either be in production now or it already exists behind closed doors. But the concept is the use of satellites that would gather solar energy and convert it into an array of such powerful lasers that they would be able to disintegrate an asteroid. And that's our list. Did we leave any out that you know about? Let us know in the comments section below. And please remember to subscribe and tap the bell button so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more Elite Facts.